Hello, everyone. My name is Guang Wang. I'm a PhD student from Rutgers University. Today, it's my honor to show our recent work with you. The title of the paper is Understanding User Behavior in Car Sharing Services Through the Lens of Mobility. This is a joint work between Rutgers University, Beijing Jiao Tong University, and Southeast University. I will introduce our work following this outline. Let's go into the introduction first. In recent years, we have been witnessing a rapid increase of sharing economy in which users play a critical role. So understanding user behavior is very important to improve sharing economy services. In this paper, we will focus on one of the innovative shared mobility, the car sharing. The reason is that during the past decade, the number of car sharing users has significantly increased from about 1 million to over 20 million. Understanding user behavior in car sharing is important for new findings discovery and system enhancement and better user experiences. Now, we are fortunate to have access to both the attitude free and the attitude aware data, which provides us a new way to understand user behavior through the lens of mobility. Hence, in this work, we aim to uncover comprehensive user behavior in car sharing from different aspects. And we try to answer three, three research questions. The first research question is people's attitude to car sharing service. And the second research question is who are more likely to use car sharing services? And when, where, why, how long, how regularly they will use the car sharing services? And the last question is what are similarities and differences uh, for the car sharing usage in different cities? To answer the three research questions in this paper, we adopt a mixed methods approach which combines an online survey and locked order data analysis. And based on our online survey, we report some results. The first one is most people are willing to use car sharing services. And the second is most people use car sharing for traveling instead of commuting. And we also study the reasons that may prevent people from using car sharing. And we found that the inconvenience would be the most important reason. And we also found over half of the participants express optimistic attitude towards car sharing, which means car sharing may be a promising mobility mode in the future. And we then report some results based on our data driven analysis. And we found that pickup and return patterns are highly dynamic in different hours of different days. And the usage on weekend are also different from weekdays. And we also found that about over half, about 50% of the car sharing usage are within five hours. And we then investigate where, user, where, you usually use, where users usually use car sharing. We found that the most visited stations are all located in the CBD area and the high tech IT industry bases. And specifically during 9 to 10 a.m., we found the top five stations with the most vehicle net, net inflows are in the IT industry basis and the CBD area. And we introduced the entropy and the conditional entropy to quantify the regularity of car sharing users' user behavior. We found that we found when users' original uh, pickup station is no, the destination conditional entropy is very low, which means their uh, destination station are more stable and may be predicted. And we found that about 70% uh, of the users visited no more than two service stations, which means that they have stable usage and visitation behavior. And we then investigated the age-based uh, analysis. We found about 90% uh, of the users are between 18 years old to six. 38 years old. And we found that uh, most usage are from 27 years old to 29 years old people. And for young and elder people, they have different usage in weekends and weekdays. And we also report some findings related to the user gender. And we found that female users have more stable destinations than male users. And they have different uh, popular locations for the female and male users. And we also compare user behavior in different cities. 
we found that even though there are some similar usage patterns, but there are also some different uh, uh, usage patterns in different cities. And finally, based on our uh, findings, we extracted five categories of features that are highly related to the user behavior. Then we develop a behavior where touch boots the method to predict the usages. And we compare our uh, method with us, other methods, and we found our uh, behavior where touch boots the method achieves the best performance. And finally, we summarize some key findings and implications. And in this work, we report many new findings based on our qualitative and quantitative studies. And these findings have the potential to provide, uh, to provide potential to guide, to provide guidance for service station deployment, vehicle rebalancing, and the pricing mechanism. And we also report some limitations and the future work. And for more data and work, please refer to our website. Thank you very much.